Hey guys, what's up? I thought I'd let you into my wardrobe today because I want to talk about a topic that's very close to my heart. Do people consider what they wear when they train? Now, this goes beyond the superficial. I think when most people think about their, what they're going to wear, we're thinking fashion, we're thinking aesthetics, what looks the best on me? How do I get the girl? We're not thinking practicality. And I've been training as a man for over 15 years and think that the apparel I have is a good enough recommendation to give to you guys. Uh, I'll show you what I would recommend you own as essential training apparel and it will prepare you for any kind of physical movement you do. What I have today is three tops and essentially two different types of bottoms to recommend. Let's start. What do we have first? This is a honorable mention, a singlet. You don't need a singlet, but I think it's good to have one so you can sometimes look in the mirror and feel good about yourself, how you're filling out the singlet. It's good to be encouraged by progress, but we're not looking at singlets today. We'll start with tops, and the first one I'm recommending is an old cotton shirt. Gucci! So you can see that it's fitted in that it doesn't hang loose, it's not baggy, it's... Why do I recommend it? Just an old cotton shirt, it doesn't have to be old, but a cotton shirt that fits like this is great for weightlifting. Why it's great for weightlifting is cotton is just a nice type of material to have a barbell rest on your back. An old cotton shirt can get dirty from the barbell, the barbell feels good on your back. When you sweat into it, sure the cotton absorbs the sweat, but it feels good when you're working in a gym. It's the type of feel that you want. If you've got a baggy shirt, it blows in the wind or the air conditioning, depending where you are. If you've got a fresh shirt, it's gonna get pretty quickly when you're lifting a bunch of weight across different gyms where people bleed on the bar, where the bars have rust. It's just not a good choice. The next type of top I think you should own, this Under Armour top, again fitted, everything fits. There's nothing baggy and there's nothing so tight that you can see that it just doesn't make sense why it's so goddamn small, Jimmy! This Under Armour top is for aerobic activity. You, you just know that's who they're marketing it to, but it actually is great for any kind of running, cycling, um, what else is aerobic? Uh, well, actually, it doesn't even have to be aerobic. I would probably wear this to rock climbing. You could wear this if you have to wear a shirt to yoga. It's breathable, it's lightweight, and it doesn't, if you sweat in it, unlike the cotton where it will start to feel a bit heavier, you don't feel that with this. It just feels nice, light, and breathable, which is so appropriate when you just need a t-shirt for an activity like the ones I've mentioned. Our last top, and these are the most important to me. If I had to recommend only one top, it's going to be a long sleeve compression top. Now, this is a Skins brand. I love the Skins brand. Again, this is just my recommendation. I'm not being paid to say that, and this will take longer to get on. One, it helps to optimize performance. There is just something about having that added compression on your muscles that helps to assist with getting warmed up and with cooling down. The next thing is they offer protection. And I don't mean you won't end up with a child named Timothy at 32. I started mixed martial arts training. I've done some wrestling, I've done some jiu-jitsu, gi and no gi, and I had the unfortunate story to tell that I got ringworm. <coughs> which is basically a fungus that you can pick up from other people who aren't so clean, or gyms that aren't so clean. It, it can happen at any gym or any contact sport, okay? It doesn't mean if you get it, oh, I'm never going back to this place, it just, you need to tell the people where you got it. I'm going off on a tangent about ringworm. <laughs> Through doing the mixed martial arts training, 
you learn that in a contact sport, you need to protect your skin. No funguses and other stuff from other people or other gyms can get at you when you have this. Bottoms, there's only two types of bottoms. The compression bottoms, out of personal preference, I like the shorter ones. I just don't need it to cover my calves for any reason. These are Skins, once again. I just like that brand. I've bought cheap compression before and it's all crap. The elasticity just leaves after a few washes and a few wears. These are good for years. I should also mention that those Skins bottoms and the Skins top, they can double as swimwear. So you can wear those Skins bottoms if you go into the beach or in the pool for your swimming training. Works awesome for that too. It can seem not appropriate to wear those Skins bottoms in every type of environment. So let's consider shorts. These are cheap black short shorts that have pockets and they'd cost about $10 Australian dollars. We have to, everyone has to convert to the, from the Australian currency, but they're just cheap. You'd probably get them in Walmart in America. These are light, breathable, very cheap, no perk shorts. So that's what I'd recommend. But why do I have others to show you? These would be the ones I'd recommend because they're way more lightweight. The material seems, you know, half the thickness of those. Even though those are breathable, they're just basic sports shorts. These are specific sports shorts. They've got a four-way stretch. They're, they're just, they've got that elastic in them that's breathable, stretchy, but their one qualm I have with them is they have zippers on the ass because I think they're designed for runners to put their key in the back when they run. If there were shorts, they had shorts like this, that just have no zipper on the back, they're the ones I recommend. They'd be a fair bit more expensive, but I think they're so worth it. But when there's a zipper on the back and you wanted to wear them to jiu-jitsu or to wrestling and you end up on your back and there's a zipper digging into your tailbone, it's just not worth it. Let's build some outfits. The first one I would wear to weightlifting would be that cotton shirt with the compression bottoms. Outfit number two, if it's for outdoorsy, where it's not hiking, where you need boots and long sleeve from snakes and critters, is the Under Armour lightweight top with the shorts. Perfect for running, rock climbing. And the third outfit is the long sleeve compression top with the shorts, which would probably be appropriate for most things I would even go further and say the compression top and the compression shorts, but if you can't do that any, everywhere, you go the shorts instead. You can go the compressions with the shorts over it, but if we're just narrowing it down to two items, the compression top and the shorts should prepare you for pretty much any situation and will probably cost around $100, maybe $120 depending on what type of compression top you get. And majority of that amount is just coming from the compression top. And got a level with you, sometimes it's better, a lot of the time it's better, to invest money into something that you might initially be like, I would never spend that much on something, but it pays off. These compression clothing, the items I have by skins, I've had for years and you can't say that for the other stuff I skimped with my money on. That's gone, been gone a long time. So it's worth investing a little bit into your training apparel. I hope that this video has shed a bit of light on what to get. If you are just wearing loose clothing that you don't mind sweating in, like board shorts, and a baggy top to the gym. I hope it's just, and this isn't to judge that. This is just to say there's, there's more appropriate things to wear to optimize your training. So I hope that gave you guys some ideas. Like the video if you got something out of it and subscribe if you haven't already. Don't usually do, I haven't done this, maybe I'll do more in the future. Haven't done this kind of video in the past. Usually you will see free workouts, exercises for beginners, 
any suggestions put down in the comments below. If you have any questions specifically about this video, put it down in the comment section below. Thanks so much for watching and I will see you for the next one.